my name is valerian pinto i am coming from kinnigoli uh, most of the time i live in mumbai thane um, now i have come here i got a house here in kinnigoli so this is the first time i'm coming here so something came to my mind that i have not come here before no i should go for a retreat at uh, divine call center mulki so uh, my decision was very 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 nice i made that decision i felt very nice here after coming there i got lot of peace of mind and i and i understood uh, uh, understood the word of, word of god more and more uh, and i made a very good decision as i to already told you and uh, while coming uh, i had a knee pain here knee pain and uh, doctor told me that i have to undergo the uh, surgery for the replacement of the knee cap and that time this uh, swelling was also there and uh, now today since yesterday the swelling is completely disappeared and uh, i don't have i do not have much pain i think it is uh, it is being healed i praise the lord praise you jesus thank you jesus thank praise you jesus lord for. praise the lord i am francis mascarenas i'm coming from bantwa i had a grudge with many a people with my sisters with my in-laws my daughters in-laws and all the people but after listening to the word of god in december i went back as i was not keeping well also i went back to bombay i reconciled it with my two sisters i went to their home i talked to them and we got reconciled and we are now in good talking terms <laughs> secondly i went to bangalore to my daughter's in-laws house we had some issues so i went there i sorted out the issue to be very frank i was i had booked the ticket from bombay i was in bombay and for some reason i had reaction of the medicines and because of that my legs were swollen up and i could not walk for a small time i had to drag my feet and i had to come while i was in the train the swelling went down and i went to uh, bantwal i thought of not coming here but I, then i said no i have given a word that i should be here so i took my car i was not keeping well i drove all the way from bantwal i came here without any problem so i really thank and praise the lord for doing it and i was struggling here for all the five days in the retreat i was not able to sit i was not able to work but i thank and praise god for all that he has given me and i doubt and secondly last of all when i always come here i talk this place divine retreat center is a place on heaven on earth thank you praise the lord praise the lord actually i i was shanta devi ramaya and now with the generosity of jesus and his love of embracing everyone i am in his family i have a wonderful family god is given i am shanti now shanti sandy i have three daughters priya maria surya mulki means for me jesus meeting a place for jesus and being with him eating his words drinking the holy spirit just dreaming his wonderful way that he led the sacrifice he did for us this is my fourth retreat first retreat i came alone one of my student wasant fernandez he is my student he brought me come teacher i'll take you that is about 2 years ago alone i came then i prayed lord this is something special i can hear your words so nicely i am enjoying it 
give me one more opportunity then i told my husband he said come i'll come with you we both came and we both made a retreat and this four days you know the word of god is what makes me more joyful happy strengthened revived because we feel the power of word in our life then third retreat one of my daughter is abroad i brought her here she was missing spiritual life she loved jesus but they don't get opportunity to embrace jesus and his love and experience so i brought her here she just came for a two months holiday but she was here last time my i was so happy that to see her my prayer was only after i became a catholic it's four years ago that i became a catholic baptized receive communion i kneeled down and cried out to jesus let my family serve my household serve you alone and my children only depend upon you not even on me not even on my husband's property or anything only on you lord they must call out and cry out to you in every situation that was the only prayer and i can see my both the daughters surya is a doctor in this mangalore but she is come today i can see her loving jesus i know in her life jesus is everything even my maria one more eldest daughter is there i want her also i want to see her here that's the desire i just prayed in front of jesus let her come lord let us see and enjoy the generosity of jesus and physical healing many things piled up in my life but the spiritual life the heart that when we give it to jesus and we gave him the first place and he is everything and when jesus become our way of life our style of life life is everything it is beautiful no doubt i had lot of burdens in my heart each time i came for the retreat each burden is just take away today i am like a feather only physically i am like feather i can fly and i enjoy being with my god my family is here i want jesus to give me many more retreats to come and enjoy and be with him and enjoy his presence his presence is everything in our life and gathering in his name more than 2 3 is more it is most high joyful experience i thank my jesus i praise him all the time i ask his mercy on me all the time not only on me now he made me i called you now you pray for others he has given me in my heart lot of burdens for young students doctors sick people especially i got lot of burden when i see people suffering i suffer also with them so that's the only burden and i know my jesus will take me along with this burden so that i can kneel down that's why i prostrate wherever i go i just know i just fall before him that's what moses also was doing when he was taking the egyptian to israel i just prostrate that elevates me in my heart to pray for many and inspire inspire me so i am very th- thankful for my family and all the priests especially here more than their fathers and brothers they guide us they give nice food nice accom- accommodation to stay and the spiritual food more than anything the spiritually they satisfy us and we go back with joy in our hearts so i'm i thank you i praise and worship and i give all glory to my jesus for this mulki a mulki place of heaven and earth praise the lord praise the lord uh, this was my first uh, retreat in many years but i didn't really have any prayer intentions i only came to do this retreat as a thanksgiving because god has blessed me so abundantly i felt like i don't have anything to ask of god of course i have small things to ask but i only had many things to thank for many things to thank for i came only to thank god and this retreat there's only two words to describe what it has done it has been life changing for me truly life changing and has brought me so close to god and i have absolutely nothing to complain about in, in fact i have i don't have words to express express how much i appreciate all the fathers over here 
for bringing us all so close, so close to God, for changing all our lives. And the only thing I wish for is that everyone, everyone gets the chance to come and to experience what I ex have experienced because everyone deserves to feel this joy and this peace that I have in my heart and I'm sure that all of us have in our hearts. So I want to thank Father and all the fathers and everyone here. Of course, most, most importantly, I want to thank my God for bringing me here, for giving me this honor, for giving me this great privilege of speaking in front of you all, of attending this entire retreat, of giving me so much, so much to be thankful for, for teaching me about him and about his ways and for just filling my heart with so much joy and peace which I was missing for a long time. I was burdened, I was burdened with quite a few things, particularly uh, in the past few months, there were many attacks on doctors, you all may have heard about it, many physical assaults on doctors which troubled me greatly. And now God has removed all those anxieties and all that sadness from my heart. And now I will just pray. I surrendered everything to God. I'm just going to pray for all these acts of violence in the world against so many people. All the anxiety is gone. God has taken away that anxiety and all that trouble and all that disturbance and confusion in my heart and completely filled it with peace. So I thank God so much and I thank everyone here for sharing this experience with me. Praise the Lord. I'm Ignatius Elias Carlos. I'm from Kemman. Kemman is about 35 kilometers from here. At the moment, I am staying in a old age home, a senior citizen home, which is called Wazanam. And if anybody is asking me why I am staying there with my wife, last four years I am staying there. Nobody liked it in my own family. My brothers, sisters, all are there in Kemman. But even anywhere we go, people ask me, why are you going to the old age home? Anyway, before that, I want to say the purpose of our coming. We only came here with one purpose, not to ask anything. God had done so much to us, I do not know how disciplined we should be in our timing of prayer and where Mulki teaches us the discipline and the timing. We pray, but there is no timing, any time, anything like, you know. My wife always tells me, keep a time. So we have only came with the intention of giving thanks. So much God has given to us. My parents and everybody was against me for many reasons because I'm an I was an alcoholic. I gave up a drink for so many years, but still now I little have, no doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> you see, God gave so much. Now we are in the senior citizen home, we are in old age home. So well it is. Time to time we can go to anywhere. We have a chapel there. Mass every day, though we go to Rosary, Rosary Church, which is very close for going for out. I was against of raising hand when my wife used to take potta for many a times she went forcibly. But I used to sit in the quiet in a corner. Now I can move my hand. If I don't move, my wife is lifting it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so somehow I come with the term. <laughs> I come with the term. Of course, though I cannot, you know, enjoy that much, but I have come with the term, I think, a day to come, <laughs> it may work out. <laughs> day to come, it may work out, because normally I like to be quiet in the corner, uh, but still, but uh, I like to move with people. When you pray here with people, and you know, that helps us. So now, secondly, I'm telling you that God has given us so much. Now, to be very frank with you, if I was to there in my house, two of us, suppose two of us, always fear. Suppose I die, what will happen to my wife? Suppose she dies, what will happen to me? Here there is no fear. Already we are in a place, spiritually it is taken care of, food is taken care of, whatever it is. So this is the reason why I planned ten years earlier to go to a old age home. It is not somebody brought us. So I thank God for everything God had done for us and help, help God to have many more retreats like this. I praise Jesus in a very special way for this particular retreat because I was very much a man of the world. God changed my life. And after coming here, I realized suffering is to temper our inside metal, to temper our inside metal to make us stronger spiritually. Healing is not always physical or fitness of health. 
healing is of thought pattern and spiritual understanding in a way god is using me one more now though i am mostly house bound one other reason is both my knees are artificial about 4 years ago i had undergone surgery for both my knees both my knee replaced knees have been replaced and yet god gave me the strength here to stand sometimes to clap you know to move around and do everything i was house bound for quite some time i got sick i got hospitalized everything happened but so many blessings i can count when i am not hyperactive first of the blessings is my wife every moment of my life she was with me so blessings come in this guys this is the time god acts all these as eye openers for us yes if everything goes hunky dory you know we get lost in the melody but there is you know once in a while this pulling that is why jesus says follow me carry my yoke follow me as i follow him it does even more other blessings plenty plenty blessing earthly blessing spiritual blessing everything i do not lack anything my family doesn't lack anything everything has come from him everybody used to ask when i was young what is your plan for your future i used to laugh at them i have no plan why should i plan the planner is there so now i'll tell you my name my full name is henry gilbert disuza praise the lord my name is uzia fonso i'm from goa and uh, and uh, this is my second retreat over here first retreat was just like uh, i just wanted a holidays and uh, some time off from work so i had come here i wanted a long drive so i just removed my car one day like two days in two days before i planned i'll be coming over here and i just uh, drove over here but uh, going to see like that retreat actually uh, brought me more close to god and i before retreat like i never i never used to pray and like uh, sunday masses used to go but uh, prayers like uh, it was not my part <laughs> well, but after coming from retreat it just changed my life at home like i never used to do rosary when whenever like my family my mom like right now she is in abroad but whenever she used to do rosary like uh, i used to bug it <laughs> i used to go out i go to i used to go out with my friends and just hang out with them but uh, the change when when i came back the change she saw in me like she was thinking like whether the same person is come back or like in his like someone else has come uh that's i didn't want to lie anything but uh, this thing has happened in my life and i wanted uh, i wanted to go for this retreat i wanted 5 days so i just told my manager first before that i just prayed and i told my manager uh, i want a uh, 5 days leave uh, he said like i'll just think and i'll let you know but uh, after three days again i went with him i said like i want to talk to the hr i said like uh, i have 3 days leave uh, two days you can uh, debit from my salary <laughs> it doesn't matter for me uh, is that i said he said like i'll be thinking so then the fifth day like he said like fine you can take but on saturday anyhow you have to join i said like fine i don't have any problem i'll come anyhow i had some uh, something to talk to god which i was like i was not uh, it's a, it's all not happening at home uh when i came over here, when i sat in the train like i had I had something in my mind like uh, first thing i'll tell you uh i'm very lazy uh i just thought like uh i'll ask for the ground floor and uh, two two days before like i had called over here for the registration of thing and i, I just told my names and i i told her like uh, i i want to come for retreat but when i came over here i told my name it was second in number and that lady told me like you are you have uh, res already registered but uh, you have booked for the uh, ground floor room i was surprised like i never told anything to anyone i just thought in my train while coming i just thought but i didn't tell anyone like i want a ground floor it just happened and i got that uh, first room over there and i was <laughs> i was just lucky second like uh, when i came on sunday over here, i reached on 3 o'clock over here. my f- train was delayed i reached on 3 o'clock over here. and i just i was, had a bath and i just i sat in the in front of the holy place so i was in a, i was i was just reading a bible 
I can't. I, I forgot to get my specs actually. I would have, otherwise, I would have done the reading. I suppose my brother had requested me, but I didn't get. I forgot in hurry. Like I forgot to get my specs, and uh, I just. I was sitting and I was just reading. I trying to read the Bible. I, and the reading, actually, the which I. I just randomly opened the reading, and reading which I got like it was actually the answer what I had actually come here for. And uh, I had many, 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 many things in, in thoughts in my mind. But uh, after reading that thing, everything got I got answers for everything. Secondly, the father uh, told me uh, told the meaning of that Eucharist. I never knew mass was so interesting. I just every day I used to go for mass, but uh, this way I never did in my life. I never I never knew the meaning of mass actually. First of all, after coming sec from secondary day, I knew actually knew how to take communion, how to answer the of whatever I father asked, like everything. I'm just happy to be over here. And actually, second time actually, when I came over, I had just in my mind like a peace. I, I want some few days holidays. I had some tension in my heart. I just wanted few days holidays. So in that intention, like I came over here and I'm just glad I, I, I took the decision to coming, for coming over here. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for bringing me here. This is my first retreat here. And I'm here standing front, first time, front of the mic I'm standing. I'm so a bit nervous. Before I come, I was so frustrated and I was tensed because of my brother's problems. For five years, we were suffering. And I have decided that once the, the problem little comes down, I'll make sure that I will go to for retreat. And I don't know that Mulki, it didn't come in my mind, but I know that Mulki, there is a retreat. I thought that I will go to Potta. But suddenly, I made up my mind that I will go to Mulki, and I came here. Father, I experienced so good here. I just tell from, from to top to bottom, and in and out, I'm really healed. I'm so thankful to Jesus and I've experienced and today's explanation of the Mass where we have to do our duties and the fear, just for the fear we have to go to church and come. And today we came to know what is the Mass is. And we'll make sure, I will make sure that in every time like we will pray for you all and every members who is working here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I am Gregory Quarters from Kinigoli Parish. I was suffering from a disease, rare disease called insomnia. I find it difficult to pronounce. Huh? Insomnia means uh, loss of sleep. Uh, for the last six months, uh, I used to have very little sleep, hardly four or five hours. I was restless. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. I came here and I prayed during the adoration. And when I came on Sunday, I, I had a little improvement in the sleep. I, I could sleep for four or five hours. Then next day it improved. I got up at 4.30 and I was energetic, happy. And yesterday it was a miracle. I won't say it was a miracle, it was God's blessing. I slept the whole night. And one word for the, uh, regarding the retreat, all the four priests, others were very good, excellent I can say. And they, apart from their teachings, they had a very good voice, 